All right, now it's your turn. See how we can do with our calc lab. We're looking for the derivative with respect to x of arc cosine of x. Or we might say we're looking for the derivative with respect to x of inverse cosine of x. Now like we did before, we're going to first declare y is equal to this inverse cosine of x. I actually favor this notation as opposed to writing arc cosine. Arc cosine is probably a little bit easier to type out in a document, but I, I like the inverse uh, notation shown here. And what we did before, we uh, took the derivative with respect to x of both sides of this equation. We took the derivative of y, and we took the derivative of the inverse cosine of x. And when we took the derivative with respect to x of y, we just simply had the notation dy dx. And we did not know what this was yet, so we actually moved to the other side and wrote the relationship that we know if we, are, if we state y equals inverse cosine of x, we then know cosine of y will equal x. All right, now you can pause the video and move forward with this. I'll keep working, but go ahead and pause the video right now. Give it a go. All right, so you're back. Here's what uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to take the derivative with respect to x of both sides of this equation. All right, now I have the derivative with respect to x of cosine of some garbage. We know the derivative of cosine, co, co, is going to be negative value. It's actually negative sine of that garbage times the derivative of the garbage. That's becoming pretty easy for us now. And, of course, this is 1 over here. Solving this for dy dx, you have found it's 1 over this negative sine of y, like this. Now I will do a little bit of scratch work like I did before so that I can state a suitable replacement for this sine of y. So here's a little scratch work. I'll just put a little note here. Note, scratch work. I got pencil, so if I go the wrong direction, I could erase it. I'm going to start out with that Pythagorean identity, sine squared of the argument plus cosine squared of the argument, no matter what that argument is. I've got it written as y for our convenience so I can find a suitable replacement for this sine of y. Subtracting cosine squared y from both sides. And taking the square root, I'll end up with sine of y, which is this right here, could be replaced by this. But we'll also notice that cosine of y is equal to x. So cosine squared, here's a little more scratch work. Cosine squared y, we're just going to square both sides, is equal to x squared. There we go. We've got a substitution right here for cosine squared. And we have a substitution for sine of y. Sine of y is going to be this whole thing right here. So we've got a couple replacements, and we'll be able to then say the derivative of y with respect to x. I think I can squeeze it in right here. It's going to get a little bit tight, so I'll crowd this up here uh, just a little bit. There we go. So I'm just going to write down dy dx is equal to 1 over... Well, there's a negative sign here. I'm just going to put it right out in front right here. So that negative sign is just right out in front. And now I'm going to write the square root of 1 minus x squared, like so. And th since this is dy dx, and that's what we were looking for all along, I'm just going to take this statement and move it right up here. that. And then a very formal statement now. We've offered up the proof. Thus, there we are. 
Kind of an interesting note, the derivative of our inverse cosine happens to be negative. And uh, what we did initially uh, when I was at the uh, board, uh, we looked at the derivative of the inverse sine, which is very similar to this one, but positive value. So again, this is a keeper. We're going to keep this. There we go. All right. Now we're going to keep going. We want to find the derivatives. So let's give it a go with another one. The inverse tangent of x is uh, probably the next one that we should look at. And how you feeling? Feel like you can tackle this one? Hopefully you've made it this far. This doesn't really tell us what it is yet, but over on this side, taking the derivative of both sides of the equation, uh, derivative of tangent of garbage. Notice the letters don't match. Pause the video and see how far forward you can move along, eventually replacing a trig statement with a statement in terms of x alone. All right. So here's what I did, is I've identified the derivative of tangent of garbage as secant squared of the garbage times the derivative of the garbage is equal to 1. And this is a statement that I've, I have right now. Uh, I'm going to grab my pencil for a little bit of scratch work. I'm going to start out with that same Pythagorean identity that I used before. So I'll just put a little note. Here comes a little scratch work. You could even write scratch work if you want. There we go. That's a Pythagorean trig identity that we know very well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this a little bit by dividing everything by cosine squared. Sine squared over cosine squared is tangent squared. Hey, look at that. I think I have a suitable replacement now for my secant squared y. Secant squared y is actually tangent squared y plus 1. So I will be taking this tangent squared y plus 1, and I'll be replacing this. So I'll have dy dx is 1 over tangent squared y plus 1. But I know that tangent squared y, when I square both sides, could actually be replaced with x squared. So this tangent squared y right here, right inside there, can be replaced with x squared. Well, I have a great replacement now. I'm going to write 1 over x squared plus 1. And thus,
the derivative of our inverse tangent of x is 1 over the quantity x squared plus 1. Let's hang on to this one. Your job now is to find the derivative of the inverse cosecant of x. I'll let you work your way through. Be creative and don't be afraid to try something. You can use the strategy that I demonstrated a couple times and see how far you can make it. Don't just turn to the textbook, open it up, and read what somebody else has found. Take this as an opportunity to truly explore and to create. 